Hi, my name is Jacob Bakovsky and I'm an application engineer here at GoEngineer. We all need to create a bill of materials at some point when designing, but the default bill of material often does not convey enough information. The default just shows the item number, the quantity, and a description, but such as in the case as this design, I need to know the materials, the length, angles, and sheet metal information. I want the bomb to look more like this. Not sure how to configure the bomb for your specific designs? Let's take a look at this multi buy design and explore how we can make the bomb tailored to show properties we need and use this bomb template from now on. The first thing we need to do to understand any bill of materials is to understand the properties inside this model. Here I am using a multi-body design in a part file, taking advantage of the power of weld mints with a piece of sheet metal on top. There are 10 cut list items here representing 10 bodies and those bodies are organized by similar geometry. I can expand any one of these cut list items to see the corresponding bodies individually. Take a look at this sheet metal cut list property. If I expand it, I can see the body underneath it. I'm going to right mouse click on this body because I like the material for this piece to be 5052H32 aluminum. However, I like the rest of the bodies to be 3003 alloy aluminum. So to encompass all of the bodies, I'm going to go to the global material, right mouse click, and specify that this is 3003 alloy. And that applies a material to all the bodies and the edge flange with a separate material of 5052H32. Let's take a deeper dive into the model properties to see what can be called out in the bomb. To see all the properties from the model that can be displayed on the bomb, simply right mouse click on any one of these cutlass items and you'll see properties. I can see the cut list, uh, the properties that can be displayed on any bomb for any of the cutlass items by simply clicking. Let's select this cutlass item 5, which again represents the sheet metal body on top of the table. Over here on the right hand side here, I'd like to unlink this description that says sheet and give it my own custom name. So I'm going to uncheck this button. And we're going to call this table top with back flange to describe what it is. Hit OK. Let's create a drawing from this model. We need an isometric view and a flat pattern of the sheet metal top. We will copy the isometric view and use the select bodies command inside the properties of the copied view to select the top of the table to be represented in the drawing. A simple checkbox then allows us to view the flat pattern. Now that the views are created, we can insert the bomb. Simply select Insert, Tables, Bill of Materials. Select the view we want to represent, and in the Property Manager, we will change the template with the star icon. There are a few other templates that are pre-made. We will modify the bomb weldment cut list since it most closely embodies the cut list information we'd like to convey. We're also going to use detailed numbering since this one table is made up of its subcomponents. The length is tied to the global units, so we will switch them to inches only. You'll notice that the default bomb weldment cut list has item, quantity, description, and cut length. And you can simply drag columns to rearrange if you need to. To add more columns, simply right mouse click on the column header and add the property from the drop down list. On this bill of materials, we'll need more information such as materials, cut angles for the members, as well as bend radius, number of bends, and bend allowance for the sheet metal part. New in 2018, there's a button to make all the text in a bomb capital letters. 
To save this bill of materials out for later use, it's as simple as right mouse clicking. Select save as. And I'm going to call this bomb weldment sheet metal advanced. The location of this bill of materials can be found here in the options file locations and bomb templates are sitting here it's a good idea you can click edit all copy this location and then inside of your folders here I have one for the desktop open a new one paste that location in there and then simply drag my new template over to this folder. So now if I'd like to, I could insert tables, bill of materials, and I could choose this new bomb template. To complete this drawing, we're going to add balloons to reference the bill of materials. Simply going to select this drawing view I like to add balloons to. Select the auto balloon command and it automatically assigns those numbers from my detailed bill of materials. I'm going to set the pattern type above and a good idea is to change from circular to circular split line. This allows me to have the item number and quantity at the bottom but I'm not limited to just the quantity. I can choose any custom property and reference that as well. In this case I'm just going to use quantity. To summarize, we created our own custom bill of materials to convey a wider range of properties associated to our model and save them for use from here on out. What clever bill of materials will you come up with? My name is Jacob Bikowski and this has been a SOLIDWORKS quick tip video from Go Engineer.